Hi, I'm Tanner with Well Played, and today I'm going to be teaching you Dixit. Dixit is a clue-giving party game for three to six players. To set up, give each player a number of voting markers equal to the number of players. Then have each player place the rabbit of their color at the starting line of the score track, and then deal each player six cards from the top of the dream deck. Once you've done that, all you have left to do is to select who's going to be the first storyteller of the game, and then you're ready to begin. The storyteller is going to select a single card from their hand and give a clue about that card. For this example, I'm going to give the clue Machine. All the other players will then consult with their hand of cards and find the card that they believe best matches the clue the storyteller just gave. They will then place that card in the middle of the table with the original clue. Once all players have given their clue, all the clues will be shuffled together face down and then placed face up in the array from the numbers one to three in this example of three players. All players, except for the storyteller, will now secretly vote on which card they believe the storyteller had placed. The storyteller wants to be strategic with their clue. If they give a clue that's too obvious and everyone guesses it, then they will receive no points, but all other players will receive two points. The goal will be to give a clue that some players guess, but not all players. In that instance, the storyteller will receive three points, and all players that guess them will receive three points, with no other players receiving points. Bonus points are available if your card is voted for if you were not the storyteller. You will receive one extra point for each person that voted for you. When points are scored, they are represented by moving your rabbit along the score track. Once all players have received their points for the round, the storyteller will rotate to the left, everyone will draw one more card back up to six, and gameplay will continue. The goal of the game is to be the first player to reach the end of 30 points. If multiple players cross the finish line at the same time, it's whoever would cross it by the furthest will win. Much of the artwork in this game is surreal and pulls from things that you might see in your dreams. In this example, there were three cards that very obviously could be associated with the clue machine, but perhaps you might end up with things that don't have anything to do with that clue. In this example, I might select to play this card, believing that the metal part of the scale might be the closest thing to a machine. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to Dixit, and we hope that it was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe, and leave a comment below for more games you'd like to see videos on, and we hope to see you soon.